Hello, Hi, everyone. I- Hi. Uh, so I have with me Dr. Cindy, who uh, has cleared her FMG entrance uh, with an amazing score of 223 in her very first attempt. So many congratulations from the entire team Cerebellum. How are you feeling? Thank you very much, ma'am. Uh, I'm feeling very happy. It's only because of Cerebellum and the schedule that you all had given. And I followed it uh, religiously. And it's because of that. Only. Yeah, thank you. And we are we are all so proud of you. You know, this entire batch has done so amazingly well. And, and you know, you've been so regular throughout. I remember the strength not going down from the very first class till the last marathon yeah. that we took. Yeah. It used to be the same strength of, yes. of, of students. And that used to be so heartening to see. So so tell me how the entire preparation phase was for you. Uh, how was MBBS like? Where did you do your MBBS from? MBBS, I did it from Russia, from Orenburg uh, State Medical university and i had not taken any subscription as of such when i heard about cerebellum launching so i decided yeah. that i am going to take this that was the first app i subscribed to and it's the only one mm-hmm. then uh, i had uh, i just saw you and uh, gobind sir and dilip sir mm-hmm. then i'm like these uh, teachers are there i have to take it so i just okay. and when i just taken the app they were hardly like you always just recording videos that time right, right. so right. i had it to start so, and then uh, in sixth year, I decided to just attend mission classes when you all had started in, for the July batch. I was still in my final year. So I used to attend oh. classes and I used to give the tests also, but I didn't revise very well. Hmm. When I came yeah. back to India after my MBBS, I had forgotten most of the things. Like when I was yeah. teaching notes, I couldn't remember. So then I had to yeah. sit again. Yeah, and this hmm. time I was very consistent. I followed the schedule. And uh, yeah. in the start, uh, I would not give tests because I was afraid, like, if I get a bad score, I would be very uh, sad and all. But then I remember you saying that uh, even if your preparation is never going to be 100% uh, done, so you have to give the test and it should be a learning tool, not uh, something that you should be afraid of. And so that's what after that I stopped. I think I missed two or three tests. After that, I was very regular and uh, I missed nice. one GT. After that, I gave every GT. And the nice. GT yeah, of Cerebellum was very similar to the exam. Like it was just like a normal design. Never, it was not scary yeah, because of I mean, the... Yeah. <laughs> Great. So, I mean, you checked every box, you know, yeah, uh, you yeah. did everything we had yeah. to offer, basically. Yeah. So, uh, and I have seen been... the app. Yeah, yeah. you've seen yeah. us yeah. from the start. From the very... yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I was very, oh, I'm uh, one thing I couldn't finish your, I couldn't do BTR. I just did it for Opta. And mm-hmm. when I was revising Opta, I realized like it's such an important revision tool. Like I finished my revision of Opta in two hours. And whenever I would try to revise other subjects, it would take me six hours, eight hours like that. And that was like very this now. Uh, if I'm going to prepare for neat PG, I'm definitely going to do VTR first. Yeah, you should do that. Yeah. <laughs> you should definitely do that. Because, yeah, because you have a base, you know, you yeah. already have a strong base. Yeah. So, so when you add BTR to that, that gives you a roadmap that yeah. this is what are the things to be focused upon, you know. So I think it you have, uh, you know, created a very strong base for yourself and, and you just have to build upon it. And I'm pretty sure you're going to do amazingly well in NEET as well. Yeah. And, and INI as well. <laughs> yes. That should be your target, uh, you know, uh, to, to create crack INICT and get into a central institute so so I'm I'm pretty sure you're gonna do very well uh, so amazing how was the exam day uh, you know like for you between the two sets uh, how how did you do yeah the exam day like when the first paper started and uh, I started like the initial questions I knew uh, and then like there were some tricky questions I was like okay it's a bit difficult I feel and but I still I kept my calm because Praveen sir also had said that you should I, I had started panicking in one of the PSM calculation questions I think the specificity mm-hmm. question but the same question ma'am had come in your BTR test I remember and uh, so I was panicking in that but I calmed myself and I got the <laughs> answer right and then after that like before every set started I just took a, a two, two, 20 second break like I deep breaths and I'm like I have yeah. to do this I prepared well I should have confidence in myself and I yeah. uh, and then the I after I came out from the examination hall, it was I thought yeah it's difficult. Then I spoke with others, my some friends also there at the center, so they said yeah. same. It was difficult, but then I said okay, let's see. Second paper part is also there. I had a coffee because the last night I couldn't sleep because of stress. 
So I took up yeah. coffee and I went for the second paper. And then the first question was Hoffman Willis Science was like very easy single line. So yes. I'm like, okay, yeah, I, I can yeah. do this. But the confidence back. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I got the confidence back. So that was fine. Amazing. So yeah. two and lessons, you know, that a person who, who scores 223, you know, who, who's, who's at the top also can't sleep one night prior yeah. to the exam. Yeah. So, doubt in between the two sets so so you yeah. you know happens to everybody it's how you get out of it is what what is very important and uh, yeah. as Provinza yeah. said like till the last day you should take your preparation I, I kept pushing myself I, I had fever also like in the last week but uh, I was taking I am all and all and then I kept pushing myself I'm like just one more day one more day and I did it yeah amazing you did it so well let me add you know so so you did very very well and uh, we are all so proud of you thank you uh, thank so if you have to you know uh, plan a roadmap for for somebody who's starting now for fmg and they're targeting the july or june exam what would be your plan for them i would tell them to follow your schedule what cerebellum gives religiously yeah. apply a uh, 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 appear for all the tests and analyze yeah. the test, especially GT. Like I think I couldn't analyze the last GT, and mm -hmm. we have an especially silly mistakes. And uh, yes. that twentieth notebook is also very important. Like uh, volatile points, I couldn't make that. Also, I, there was a time was less. Couldn't prepare yes. it really. But uh, yeah, it was very important. Like to have everything at one place. And if you have time, they should definitely do BTR. Like I regret not being able to complete BTR. That's you would have scored what three hundred out of three hundred. What do you want? <laughs> no, because actually my revision was not done that well. I could have got more. That's what I was this. <laughs> when Amazing. I Good. thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Great, great, Cindy. Uh, was lovely, uh, you know, talking to you. And uh, stay the same humble person that you are, and then continue. All because of heart. And the uh, cerebellum <laughs> team means the teachers are amazing. I very well. Yeah, I will. I will definitely convey this to rest of the teachers, and 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 collectively on behalf of everybody. Let me just tell you, we're very proud of you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Enjoy this time. Thank you. Bye.